Taking a look at the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, it has been quiet so far, especially the month of August has been underperforming. At this point in the season, we have had five named storms, three hurricanes and one major hurricane, which is right around average or normal of where we should be at this point in the season. So we have to look at a couple reasons why it has been so quiet. Two main reasons way out close to Africa, looking at the western coast of Africa, this is where we monitor those tropical waves. So our tropical wave train has been shifted a little bit farther to the north. That plus a lot of Saharan dust out in the eastern tropical Atlantic is helping to keep things quiet. Now these tropical waves that come off of the west coast of Africa, they traverse the main development region. Those are the seedlings, the genesis for hurricane and tropical storm growth. But this wave train has been kind of cut off because they're coming off a little bit farther to the north. And as they come up farther to the north, they're seeing some cooler waters and a lot of dry air to help to kind of destroy their development, which we're not complaining about. This is a good trend to see. So here is this tropical convergent zone out over the continent. So this is what we are looking at. Normally, it's a little bit farther to the south. That's what we see year over year. But currently, the tropical convergent zones uh, where these waves uh, develop is a little bit farther to the north in the Sahara Desert. So with that current trajectory of the tropical convergent zone a little bit farther to the north, it's having a big impact on keeping our season nice and quiet. So those easterly waves a little bit farther to the north than usual encountering those cooler waters. Also, we're looking into the Sahara Desert from this and seeing that they're getting record rainfall from this shift in the convergent zone. So interesting to note, they're seeing some record rainfall. They have been for the month of August and will continue to see that for the beginning of September. Now I mentioned these easterly waves coming up a little bit farther to the north. They're encountering some much cooler than average water temperatures, and that is really cutting off and preventing them from blowing up. Good news for us. So why has the season been so quiet thus far? The tropical waves coming off of Africa have been a little bit farther to the north than they usually are. They're moving into those cooler waters and they're dealing with a lot of dry air and Saharan dust. Dust is always our friend. And this year, dust has been overactive. It's been lasting longer into the season. So the dust and the dry air are also helping to keep things quiet in the eastern Atlantic Ocean, helping to keep the tropical waves from blowing up. And even though the ocean is extremely hot, we're talking record sea surface temperatures, it has to deal with these other factors, allowing things to kind of stay nice and calm and quiet. And now you may remember earlier in the season, getting into late spring, early summer, when those initial hurricane season forecasts come out from Colorado State University and NOAA, they were calling for a hyperactive season. And the really the main reason why is because they were expecting La Nina to develop much sooner. La Nina is not here yet. It's taking a little bit longer to develop. So La Nina will not set up until the winter time months. So that is also working in our favor. But it's really something to kind of take note of is this is referring to tropical waves way far away from us coming off of Africa, coming in the main development region. This has nothing to do with our homegrown storms. Of course, we could still see something fire up in the Gulf of Mexico or in the Caribbean. So the homegrown storm stuff happening closer to home, that's what we'll have to watch really closely. And also we'll still watch these tropical waves. Now, this is the busiest part of the season. Season peak September 10th. We're right in the thick of it here. We'll have got a couple more weeks until we get into the peak of the season, but we still really remain active through the beginning of October. October. So it's important, even though the season has been quiet so far, it does not mean it will continue to be quiet and to always have a plan and be ready in case a storm comes our way.